So let's look at the application lifecycle for an iPhone application or for any iOS application. What, what I have here in this diagram is I'm showing you here a picture of the UI kit, which is the basic framework that is used in your application and then your app where you hook in. And the model that is being used here is important to understand, which is basically a model of delegation. In a lot of frameworks, you'll see subclassing. You'll see where where the way that you create a new app or you, you do a new thing is you subclass. And here you are going to do some subclassing, but what's happening here is we've got this UI kit that is controlling the flow, and then it's calling out to your custom class where you provided these overrides and then and giving you control to do a certain thing at an event, and then it returns back to to the UI kit and goes through this. So if we look from the beginning down here, you know, the first thing that happened is your application is launched. Then just like a C program, you, you have a main and that main has a specific set of arguments that get passed in, but basically it ends up calling the UI application main. And when that gets called on the UI kit, it's going to call in to your app and you're going to create a special delegate that is going to implement some of this functionality. One of the things you're going to implement is did finish launching with options. This is your opportunity to construct your class, to construct your app and, and do some initialization and setup. Then you're going to go into the event loop and the event loop, this you could be here for a while. This is where your application is running and you can see here that I've, I've put the notification that you can handle an event. So when events come in, the UI kit is going to pass those events down to your app and then you can actually respond to the events, a button press, a swipe, all kinds of different things and then and your code can execute from there. Once a, the user launches another application, it's going to kick out of the event loop or the OS for some reason closes your application. This can happen also. Then you're going to hit some more of your custom code that the UI kit is going to delegate to, which will be application will resign active. And that will be right before your application is about to not be active anymore. It's going to go into the background. And then the, your application will actually move to the background, so you won't be seeing it on the screen. And then application did enter background will be called. And you can do some final thing here. This is important when you're doing multitasking is you have you can actually make a call and say well wait a minute give me a couple more seconds so I can finish this task so the basic flow here is that it's, it's actually pretty simple it's that when the application is launched you you have a, a you know a chance to respond and do something to your setup you get into the event loop from there you can handle events and then when your application leaves focus it gives you an opportunity to clean up the application will resign active and then it tells you when you've actually you're not active anymore and there's one more thing to note about this application lifecycle i don't have it in this diagram but if something like a call comes in that's the only other state really that your application goes in that's that's not obvious here which is an, an in, inactive state while it's it's waiting to, for you to decide are you going to answer the phone and it's it's usually not going to be important for you, but it, it it is something to be aware of in case your app is going to be interrupted by a phone call and that could cause a problem for you and you might have to do something. So you get a notification when that happens as well.